Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do this eye tutorial for you. A fall glam AF look for you guys. Yes, it is that time. Fall is coming back. And I got the whole vault collection with Morphe and Jacqueline Hill collaboration. And today this eye tutorial will be featuring the Armed and Gorgeous palette. There we are. Yes. So if you're interested in how I got this look, make sure to keep on watching. And if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Carissa. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And let's jump into the tutorial. So first I'm going to be starting off with priming my eyes. I'm going to be using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And this is just going to be my base. Going in with the palette, the first color I'm going to be using is Access. And this is just going to be my transitional shade. So that's going to go all over the crease area and this is a BH 101 brush. Next I'm going to go in my Sedona Lace EB 15 brush and I'm going to go in with Agent and I'm going to put that just lower into my crease area so that way there's a nice gradient from the yellow to the orange and build that up to your liking. Now I'm going to be going in with Top Secret, the beautiful olive color in here. And I'm going to take that into a fluffy like blending brush, but I'm going to start packing that on in the inner corner of my eye and the outer corner of my eye. It doesn't matter if you get it over, all over the lid. That's fine because you're going to be doing a cut crease. Um, but if you want, you can just avoid the center of your eye. But pack it in and make that color as bold as you want it to be. I'm taking a clean blending brush. Blending. What is blending? A clean blending brush. Blending brush. Wow. And I'm just trying to soften the edges of the top secret green color. That way there's just a nice flow with all the colors. And also I'm just going back in with the first color which was access the yellow and just buffing everything out nice and softly. Going back in with top secret I'm just packing the color back on because I felt like after all the bluff bluffing. Wow I really can't talk today. After all the blending, we lost some of the pigmentation, so we're just going to pack that back on. Now I'm just going to go over everything once again and blend everything out so they're soft edges. Now I'm going in with the ColourPop Concealer in Medium, and I'm going to be cutting my crease. So I always like to start in the center and then open my eyes up nice and big so I can see where to bring that concealer all the way up. And I'm just blending it into the Top Secret Green Shade and just blending them together and just cutting my crease. Take your time doing this. I am no expert or perfect or good at this. So just take your time doing this. Get a nice, flat, small concealer brush and just take your time cutting the crease. Now we're going to be going in with this beautiful foiled greenish yellow coin color it's called coin but it's like a neon I don't know it's so gorgeous but I wanted this to be like the transition as from the top secret coin to then the center being lighter so it just helps blend the two colors together so that way the center is a nice beautiful spotlight and then I'm just going to merge top secret and coin together so everything looks nice and flawless and blended. Next I'm going to be going in with VIP and I'm popping this with my ring finger in the center of the lid. For me this was like a beautiful pop but it didn't go because it was so cool toned and everything else is kind of warm toned. So I'm, I blended everything out just you know make sure everything's nice and seamless but I wanted to go in with this sandy warmer color um, guilt trip is that what it is? Yeah, Guilt Trip. And I'm just kind of merging that with the coin VIP. It's just another transitional color. Popping that into my brow bone and inner corner. And then I'm going to go in on top of that with VIP right at the highlights of the brow bone just to lift them up. So now I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Liquid Pen. And I'm just going to be doing a quick little wing and just dragging that across my entire lid. 
Uh, just take your time doing this if you're not comfortable. This look doesn't even require a winged eyeliner because once you put lashes on, you know, it kind of camouflages that anyway. But if you want and you want to wear lashes, I would recommend doing an eyeliner just across the lash line just to help hide any of the adhesive from the lash glue at all. Going in with my Morphe E36, it's a small pencil brush. It's so perfect for under the eyes. You're going to take Agent and you're just going to run this all over the bottom lash line from the outer corner to the inner corner and it's gonna be just like the smoky effect and you could really smoke this out a lot if you want to I didn't do I didn't take it down very much far but if you want to you can but I'm gonna go in with top secret just on an angled brush and I'm gonna put that on the outer and inner corner just like on the top the whole bottom will be just like the top I'm going in with coin and guilt trip I'm just going to combine them two and make that the transition from top secret to the center point. And then, of course, I'm going to go in with VIP and place that just into the center of the eye look to complete the look and get that spotlight effect. So these are the lashes I'm going to be wearing. It's the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. They're super long, super big. They're beautiful. So that's what I'm wearing and then I'm just going to tight line with this Drama Liqui Pen, Liquid Pen, whatever. I love it. It doesn't hurt. It stays put and I'm just putting this like tight lining and putting this in my waterline. And I did put some mascara just to blend the, with the lashes and also on my bottom lashes too. I couldn't decide on which lips I wanted to use but I ended up going with the Stila Rico Color which is the one closest to my face and you can see here this is what I have chosen for this a beautiful fall look so I feel like with the lashes it kind of took away from the top secret dark green color so what I wanted to do is just add a little bit to the outer corner and inner corner just a tad bit just to amp up the green again so that's all I'm doing here and yeah thanks guys so much for watching so I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. I did. I hope you guys had a wonderful summer. Please subscribe and give this, give this video a thumbs up. I can't talk, but it's cool since this is my first video back. I love you guys and have a good one.